हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर शिवशंकर मिटकरी श्री सिद्धेश्वर महाविद्यालय माजलगाव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई टीच टू यू द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स इन दैट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स आई टीच टू यू द गॉस लॉ फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रिलेटेड टू दैट ऑफ द बी एस सी टी वाई स्टूडेंट्स सो I told to that here all of you are the physics students so you know that this gauss law already learn in 12th class and this gauss law all of you know that related to that of the electric lines of force it is also called as the electric flux because you know that whenever the electric lines of forces are passing through a small unit area this is called as the electric flux okay no doubt so first of all we go towards the statement of that gauss law so what you learn in 12th class you learn in 12th class the statement is like that that is the total normal electric induction over a closed surface is equal to the algebraic sum of all the charges which are situated inside that closed surface so this gauss law is related to that of the closed surface and inside that closed surface the number of charges are situated which emits the electric lines of forces okay now in this in the bsc ty there is there is some modified statement is nothing but the according to this law the electric flux pi e through any closed surface is equal to 1 divided by epsilon 0 times the net charge q enclosed by the surface and the mathematical statement is like this pi e e is the electric field this pi is the symbol is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 right we give the this is nothing but the uh, equation number 1 now this statement is also is in the another form here the law can also be expressed that the integral of the normal component of the electric field over a closed surface of any shape in the electric field is equal to 1 divided by epsilon 0 times the net charge enclosed by the surface so this statement is related or written is in the form of mathematical form and this mathematical form is like this that is integration of the closed surface e into n into ds is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 friends here e is the electric field inside that electric field the charge is situated and this charge is also placed on the small unit area ds so this small n is nothing but the unit vector of that unit area unit vector of that unit area ds so is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 this epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space now the another form also that is the integration of the closed surface s yes, e vector into ds is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 we are to given the equation number 3 here integration of that closed surface yes represent the surface integral taken over the whole closed surface and n is the unit vector drawn normal to the surface element ds so friend this is nothing but the a statement of that gauss law and and here the equation number 1 or 2 or 3 these are the uh, statements is in the form of mathematical form now we go towards the proof of that gauss law and so therefore for that proof of that gauss law we are to considering the closed surface first of all we considering the closed surface so here we have to considering the closed surface so this is the closed surface and closed surface s yes. and inside that closed surface the number of charges are situated remember that the number of charges are situated friend 
here you consider any shape or any size of the closed surface means here the number of faces the closed surface has the number of faces no doubt no problem but the important nothing but the the shape of that surface is nothing but the closed and inside that closed surface the number of charges are situated anywhere and the number of charges is anything no doubt okay so for our consideration for our solution here we have to consider the only one charge first of all we have to consider the only one charge plus q and which is situated at a point o so this is nothing but the a plus charge q which is situated at a point o and here plus charge q you know that the emits the number of electric lines of forces and this is nothing but the electric flux normally normally they are emit out uh, from that closed surface so for our consideration again you consider the small surface area that is we say that the unit area ds unit area ds so at a point p means on that closed surface we have to consider a point p around that point we consider the small area ds this is called as uh, the unit area okay at that point p the electric lines of forces are passing normally and here i have to draw the normal to that area ds this is the unit vector n i have to draw at that unit at that unit at that unit area and this is nothing but unit vector n so this unit vector n make an angle theta to the direction of electric field okay no problem so here this point p is situated at a distance r from the point o from this point o as shown in figure okay so here the field vector e makes an angle theta with the unit vector n drawn normal to the surface element ds okay the at that point the surface integral of the normal component of this electric field over the closed surface is given by the equation that is integration of that closed surface yes e vector into n vector into ds now at that point p the electric field is given by the equation this is the equation of electric field at the point p that is the e vector is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q divided by r cube into the r vector here we have to consider the only one charge q so this is the electric field equation at the point p now we put this value of e vector inside this equation inside this equation so we get this equation that is integration over the closed surface e into n into ds is equal to we put the value of vector e so 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 is the constant so take outside that q is also constant because we have to consider only one charge so integration for the closed surface n vector into r vector divided by r cube into ds we have to given the name of that equation number four okay now it can be seen that the quantity so this quantity remember that this quantity this quantity gives the projection gives the projection on the small area ds and which is nothing but the perpendicular to that of the r therefore therefore here we go to the next therefore here we have to give on the next equation that is the projected area divided by projected area sorry projected area so i mark it so this is nothing but the a projected area one thing that so this is the projected area divided by r cube and the equation is nothing but the do a projected area divided by r square is equal to r into n into d divided by r cube is equal to d omega 
friends here d omega is nothing but the one type of symbol for our consideration and this d omega is also called as the solid angle subtended by the unit area ds at point o so therefore we put this value in the equation so we get integration with the flow the surface yes e into n into ds is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 q integration over the closed surface into d omega we have to putting the value of that equation okay so integration of closed surface yes d omega is nothing but the just i call to that is nothing but the, the solid angle and here we have to consider the whole solid angle which is subtended at point o so its value its value is nothing but the the 4 pi so we put this value 4 pi replace of that integration d omega so the next equation is nothing but the integration over the closed surface e into n into ds is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into 4 pi is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 so here we have to getting only the q divided by epsilon 0 because here 4 pi 4 sorry 4 pi 4 pi get cancelled so remains only q divided by epsilon 0 so we have to give on the equation number 7 so lastly integration over the closure surface e into ds is equal to q divided by epsilon 0 we give the name of that is nothing but the equation number 8 or the next equation so this is nothing but the the proof of the gauss law related to that of the only one charge which is present inside the closed surface and at a point o suppose the number of charges are present inside that closed surface that is q1 q2 q3 dash, dash so on qn so these are the number of charges which are present inside that closed surface then how the gauss law can be expressed or they can be written as just i told you that in 12th class you are to writing the summation of all the charges is nothing but the the total normal electric induction over the closed surface you are to writing equal to the summation of all the charges is nothing but the mathematical form of uh, gaussian law so here is the same so integration over the closed surface e into ds so we have to collecting all such a small elements of that closed surface that is the ds 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 are such a small elements we have to collect and so we have to considering the integration over the closed surface e into ds is equal to and also is equal to the normal induction that is the integration about the closed surface e into n into ds is equal to 1 divided by epsilon 0 summation of all the charges that is q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus dash dash, dash plus qn and this can be r to written as q i where i is equal to i to i is equal to 1 to n we have to give on the name of that is nothing but the equation number 9 so this is also the proof of the gauss law of the number of charges so friends can you understand this gauss law if you have to any difficulty please ask me so this is nothing but the a gauss law